morning, I've been to check weather report, and it shows say some rains go still they fall yeah. because we never see the end of the rainy season. Now we hear say for instance, Anambra State schools uh, don't they close down due to flooding? Which part of Anambra State? Now we want something now. So they say all the primary, uh, post-primary, and tertiary schools for instance. Ogbaru local government area of Anambra State say they don't temporarily close and uh, 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 you know close down these schools in reaction uh, to the flood disaster we've been hit that particular area. Now the council chairman will be Mr. Arinze Yawogu, and he may disclose this particular matter while he been the uh, inaugurated the distribution of relief materials to the council headquarters for inside Atani uh, on Tuesday, maybe yesterday. And Mr. Awogu been talking to the closure of the schools, say this one day in line with the directives of the government, of the governor rather, will be Willie Obiano. Uh, we've been talking to make all the schools for the affected areas as if they close them uh, to avert loss of lives and more property. Uh, he say we are in an emergency situation situation and for us safety of life uh, is paramount people will not have to need uh, people will not have need for education uh, when they are dead so in line with the directive of the governor uh, we have asked that all schools in Ogbaru be temporarily shut down and also in talk you also been talk say a 12 man local emergency management committee then they don't set up to ensure there's effective rescue and coordination of victims as well as the distribution of the relief materials uh, for those, excuse me, internally displaced persons camp where they don't set up for these particular people where they are affected by the flood. Uh, the council boss, uh, Mr. Ogbaru, uh, Mr. Okay, the council boss, we talk to Ogbaru, the, the community, said we don't take delivery of buckets, mattresses, mats, mosquito nets, and even blankets uh, from the state emergency uh, management agency. But you also been talk, say, uh, it's still, the, the one we then collect is a very, very far cry from the things where they need. Uh, according by Mr. Wogu, he said about 190 households, and uh, inside of those households, a total of about 1,100 people, uh, and then they presently at the IDP camps, where they located uh, for the council secretariat for community primary school, uh, Odwekwe, at uh, St. James Anglican Church. He also been added, say, uh, critically affected, say, about uh, 13 out of 16 villages where they are along the coastal line of River Niger, then they critically affected uh, by this particular flood. And also we talk say the remaining three communities safe, those ones they highly threatened. So if they don't do anything about them, say those ones too. What Africa you then go? And then the chairman, he also be, I talk say, uh, the chairman, in fact, the chairman himself, say, the water safe don't push off for your house because the water safe affects your house and in compound. He say, we thank God, who say nobody don't die, no life was lost inside the flood for inside Ogbaru community. Uh, as of the moment when they get distressing, uh, you know, destructions of property and farmland and, uh, you know, farmland, farm products and uh, livestock. But say nobody don't die. But they still need a lot of relief materials uh, concerning this particular issue. Very, very sad one. Out of 16 communities, 13, then they affected. And the remaining three, we know they affected. Uh, they don't fear because the water don't they encroach to their areas. Now, as you come outside talk, you, and you, for, for inside your report, you come outside talk, say, um, in come outside talk, say, now emergency period now we do. Mm. Definitely, we don't see and say now emergency period. For inside Kogi and Niger State, about 53,000 people don't get displaced by this flood okay. issue. Now, before now, now terrorist attack, now they make people for communities, they run, enter inside the big camp. But now, Flood don't enter inside. Right, people they come up from their house, they and they, they and create IDP camps mm. for people as regards to um, flooding. And we even yes, say according by report, our water level don't actually increase. And right. this one they actually cause the excess water where they come even from rain. Apart mm. from the fact that we need to keep our environment clean and everything, we know say the water level too, see they contribute a lot. And we know say Kanji Dam and then um, Jebba Dam. They say excess water, they actually flow from there. And Anambra State, Delta State, and some of other states, um, Ninja State, and um, um, a lot of states where they're surrounded by River Ninja will actually face them. There's a forecast, say, from now till November, November the yes. rain will it continue the to the fall. National Emergency Agen um, Agency, Dr. Masai, lament, say, Como, we need intervention. At this point, it could make we just admit, say, we need international rescue. Yeah, we but, actually but, need. But are we, are we, I mean, we have just two seasons in Nigeria. We have the dry season, we have the rainy season. Do we season. go by the season anymore? No, 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 you know why they're talking? Because if we know, if we understand the kind, even though we don't say climate, they change and all of that, if we understand the seasons we will get, then there are some things we can plan ahead of time. Now, for on top of NEMA website, if you go to their website, nema.gov.ng, you go see different ways where they talk, say they fit to control flooding. Now, these ways, have they been well utilized? One of these ways they talk, say they say they can create canals. Mm -hmm. This, how many new canals you don't hear of where they don't build across the nation? The canal where they talk of for Suleri has been there even before Suleri was Since. ever developed. Mm -hmm. Has it been well maintained? Do you know how that place stinks? So even if we need this international uh, intervention, 
where are we going to get the maintenance culture we still need to make sure say, those things are well kept? There are different ways to, uh, to, to manage, even if we know if it avoid flooding. But when that time comes, different ways to manage it. Even before the time of flooding comes, there are things you have to put on ground. It's just like some agricultural practices where you need to do. If you know in a rainy season, you go create channel. Of course. You go pass you because you know say, yes. rainy season. Yes. Yeah, that's why I said okay, there are two seasons. Cause, seasons. Cause that's the what water. I'm saying. We have two channel seasons. So it's not rocket part. science. So we'll plan during dry season ahead of rainy mm -hmm. season. Whether we know the forecast or not, we don't get certain experiences, bitter experiences in the past that should make us wiser. Mm -hmm. But yet, each year, it is always a story. It's but a story. is it a surprise? It's not Come a on. surprise because they say even more communities go there affected by the flood. flood yeah. Like you talk, what do they do now to make sure? So it's they... beyond the international. If the international co intervention come in, but how we are we going to manage? No, but we know the question now is: if I be an international investor and I choose to help the country, how well is that help it's being appreciated? Mm -hmm. If the money I keep bringing every time and yet you're, we're going back nothing to the same, nothing, about nothing is being done to, to to make me know that there's value mm -hmm. for what is being done to that community. Then why why would I keep bringing my international intervention into that into that country? We and need apart to make sure our maintenance culture even, is top notch. Even the governor for Kogi State, um, Yaya Belo, don't come outside. I will tell people, appeal to a lot of people where they, they will actually face this flood in front of communities. They say, please, I beg, come out for your community. Go this particular place so we don't de um, create for you. But some people still, they don't yeah, want to come out. It's, it's and you difficult. go blame them. This is a place that don't stay for a very long time. Yeah. It's difficult. Uh, all right, we just um, we we'll not say we we'll not say the government they listen to the people, and uh, we we'll not say from time to time they listen and they try to prefer solutions on top of the things where they happen for Nigeria. Even though we we'll not say this one a natural disaster that can be um, that cannot that may not be prevented, but we can find can a way to manage to manage it. Mm -hmm. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.